boys and girls and welcome to Gordon Guitar. We have a cool and chill song from Beto called Forever. So uh, this one is pretty easy to handle. We have four different chords here. Yeah, four different chords. And we have this strumming pattern that goes over two chords. We're gonna learn how to handle this. So it's a great song. So um, let's start this one up. We don't need any capo for this one. And we'll look at the chords first, like we usually do. So the first one will be the D sharp sus two. And just wanna mention, we have only bar chords here to work with. Sounds, yeah, best to use the bar chords here for this one. So the first one will be D sharp sus two. You have a bar here on the sixth fret from the A stringing down. So all strings except from the last bass here. So place your index there on the sixth fret and the rest will be eight on D and eight on the G string. So that's the D sharp sus. Okay, so the next chord will be the C sharp major seven. So you move down here with your bar, two frets. You land here on the fourth fret with your index finger, still from the A string and down, so five strings. And the rest will be six on D, fifth on G, and six on B. So that's the C sharp chord. Then we have the G sharp seven. So you keep the bar here on the fourth fret, this time over all strings. So index overall on fourth fret and the rest will be six on A and fifth on G. So that's a G sharp chord. And then we have the B7. So you move down here to the second fret with your uh, index finger. So you place a bar there from the A string and down. So you go back now to the little five string and down. And the rest will be fourth on D and fourth on the B. And that was the B7 chord. So there you have all the chords you need. So quick repetition here, the D sharp chord, the C sharp, the G sharp, and the B. Yeah, so now we have the chords. Let's take a look at the strumming pattern. And as I mentioned, we're gonna split this one up over two chords. So we have one part and then the second part. So let's take a look at um, the transition here from the D sharp to C sharp, since that is how the song starts. So the part one now for the D sharp in this case will be down, up, clap. Okay, so like this. And that's it, okay? So down and then a short pause and then comes up, clap. Okay, and then after this clap, you quickly change to part two, in this case now the C sharp. So here we're gonna play down right after this clap from part one, and then pause again, and then down up, down up, pretty fast there. So like this. Okay, so again, from the clap, part one, that is how the part one ends, comes this. So it's Okay, and that's it. So, and then immediately you go back to part one and play the next chord, uh, in this case, the G sharp. But th that's uh, the next thing. Let's just take a look at the full strumming pattern here, part one and part two, how it sounds together. I'm gonna take down the tempo a little bit, so just uh, get the feeling for it and see what's going on here. So let's go from D sharp to C sharp. Yeah. 
All right. So that is how you play the strong pattern. Now let's take a look at the chord progression. So we already started this one up with the C sharp and C sharp. So from D, sorry. So D sharp part one, C sharp part two, and then comes the G sharp seven, one full round. So that means down, up, clap, down, down, up, down, up. And that is half of this chord progression you can say. So let's go through this. D sharp part one, C sharp part two, and G sharp one full round like this. And that's the half. Next half will be starting in the same way. So D sharp part one, C sharp part two. And then you end with the B7 one full round instead here. So B7. And that is the entire chord progression here. So I'm going to play this couple of rounds for you so you understand how it's done and this is actually how the song goes through the entire song so let's do this together now gonna do that from the beginning till the end so good luck with this one guys forever a great song to learn so play tuned <laughs> 